When adding images into Adobe Illustrator, whether they are JPEG, PNG, GIF, or another image type, you need to be aware that Illustrator only links to those images. It doesn't actually embed them into the project file. The benefit of not embedding the image files is that the original AI file can be much smaller in file size. However, that also means that if you altered the linked files in any way, such as moving them, deleting them, or renaming them, then it will break the links to those files and cause problems for your project. Let's see this in action. If we look at this AI project, we have our artboard with a traced picture of an eagle. We have reference images that we have placed into the actual AI document. You can tell that they haven't been embedded because they have this X crossing through the image. If we were to close this file and save it, and then alter one of the original image files from the project, whether we rename it, delete it, remove it, etc., then when we open that project the next time, it'll give us this error saying that the link to that image has been broken. There are two options you have for this. You can either replace it, so if you're working at your computer and you know that you've renamed that file, moved that file, or deleted that file, you can figure out what you've done with it and choose to replace it here, which gives you a chance to go find that file and link to it again. However, if you send this to somebody else, they don't have that original file, so they don't have the ability to replace it. In that instance, they're going to click ignore, and when they get into your project file, they'll be able to see anything that you have sent to them or has been embedded, but they won't be able to see any of the other pictures that weren't embedded. They'll only see this little placeholder, which also gives off the appearance that something went wrong with this project. To fix this, we can replace that image back into our project folder, click inside our AI file, and it'll notice that that file is back in place, and you can update it to relink it. Again, if you were sending this to somebody though, they wouldn't have that option. So the two things you can do to make sure this isn't a problem for you is to either embed your images and thereby make a larger file size or send an entire project folder to somebody else. So for instance, if you wanted to send your AI file to somebody else, you would need to also send all of the assets that were a part of that AI file. You can do this by sending all the files or you can compress them into a zipped folder. The other option is to embed your images into the document. To do that, you need to click on an image and then click Embed. Once it's been embedded, you'll notice that the X is removed as a visual indicator that this image has been embedded. If you have multiple images and you're not sure which ones you have embedded and which ones you haven't, an easy way to do multiple image embeds is to go to the window menu and open up the links panel. This will show all the different linked files you have in your project, and it will also display an icon letting you know when a file has already been embedded. If I click on this eagle image, you can see down in format that it's a JPEG and it has been embedded. If I click on the brown eagle image, it shows the format as JPEG but a linked file. In order to embed it, you can use the flyout menu and choose to embed it here. You can also click on a previously embedded image and choose to unembed it. So again, embedding your files will make a larger file size, but that means you only need to have that one file. If you choose not to embed your images, you need to make sure that you send not just the original AI file, but all of the other assets that are used in that project.